I'm Dr. Robert Bowie. I'm a medical director of Down East Emergency Medicine Institute here in Bangor, Maine. DEMI is a search and rescue. We involve in missions such as imagery missions, ground search missions. Uh, we operate Humvees. We have a helicopter, fixed wing aircraft. We do high resolution imaging and we use that to help look for missing people. BJ is one of our volunteers. She unfortunately had her daughter go missing in California. So when she called us, we pulled all stops out. I know the whole search and rescue protocol type things, but when it happens to one of your own loved ones, it's a little bit different. I affiliated myself with DME eight, nine years ago, but it wasn't until February of last year when my daughter went missing that I needed their help. For years, people have either flown in helicopters or in aircraft and looked out the window, and you're passing pretty quickly over a spot of ground hoping to see something. When you're talking about search and rescue, you immediately think of lots of people out walking a grid. Now you can put a UAV up in the air, you can actually see several hundred acres at once and search a large area in just a few minutes. The UAV system that we have has got two components to it. One, we take the UAV out, we gather images during the search of the search area. We'll then take that imagery off the drone, download that to our Humvee, and then beam that up to the internet, allowing our analysts and our searchers to look at these pictures all through the night. The importance of imagery in, in search and rescue is you can go back and look at the data again and again and again, and you can dig into the data more deeply to find details that you wouldn't see with your naked eye. The intent is we're trying to find someone alive as fast as we can, so we're trying to crank that wheel as fast as we can from the imagery to the analyst. Those people can call the people that are out there in the scout teams and say, hey, on that point right here, those GPS coordinates in this picture, we've got something. I'm Wayne Baker. I'm the City of Joshua Fire Department Fire Chief. Been in the fire service 23 years. Here in our county, we have flooding every once in a while, but this was one where it went on for a month. When you looked out the window, all you could see was, was water. water. Mm. I mean, you, you just get so helpless. You, there's nothing you can do. And we stood in the middle of the living room and we just said a we prayer. We about it, yeah. There's not a whole lot you can do when you're trapped and you're helpless. As we pull up, I see this just massive amount of water flowing underneath this house. You never know when something is going to happen in an emergency situation. We didn't know if the foundation was going to give way on the Castell's house. We needed a rescue line from them to us as fast as we could. I saw something rise up off of the street and attached to it was a fluorescent yellow line. He flew it right over, got the string in position to where I could get to it, secured it to the house, and it was the beginning of our rescue operation and the beginning of us feeling a little less panicked and a little bit more secure in the fact that we're not alone. The goal of search and rescue is to return a loved one back to their family. It's important to have that closure and they truly appreciate when you found their loved one that's missing. It's still hard. I still get emotional. I still have my bad days where I want to throw things, hit things, and, you know, just scream at the top of my lungs because my daughter's not coming back. You know, somebody took that from her and from us. I have the utmost respect for Demi and what they do for a living because this isn't easy. They do the very best that they can to help people find what they're looking for. We prefer it to be a search and rescue, but we find them and we'll, we'll bring them home. The key to UAVs is that it's another tool in the toolbox. It's a natural development in search and rescue. You really do need to use these things in order to have better outcomes. We've gone beyond I need that aerial view. Now this is actually using this UAV as a tool. It has a certain amount of payload. You can carry things to people that you couldn't carry in another way. Life preservers, rescue lines. I used it to help firefighters that were off in another dark area. And I illuminated the fire scene for them and they didn't even have to use their flashlights. They could focus on their work. It gives you a whole new respect for that type of piece of equipment and the operators of it. You hear about using quadcopters and stuff to deliver packages or deliver hamburgers from a fast food joint. Uh, but you never really hear about them saving lives. And every day is something different. You get to make that difference. Nothing can compare to, to this job. Even my worst day is my best day. 
it helps me help the firefighters. So I'm helping people that help other people to do a better job. You know, it just doesn't get any better than that.